Michael Risch here with uh, Global Punk Review, here with the Sex Slaves. We have Eric, J-Bomb, Del Cheetah. Mm -hmm. Now we're here at Headliners and uh, in Toledo. You guys have been out on the road forever now. When's it going to end? When the world ends. Actually, tomorrow's our last show for a month. We have a month off, which we're looking forward to. It's going to be a, a well-deserved month off. <laughs> Any new recordings uh, pending during that month off? Not during that month. <laughs> I think we'll probably be demoing. I mean, I plan to demo some shit during some, some stuff I've been working on. Just some, like, really rough, just to get some ideas down, you know? And then you guys are headed off to Europe later in the summer? Yeah. Well, in April. In, in April? April and June, we have two Europe tours booked right now. Now you guys just got back from Europe. A couple months ago. Yeah, we were over there in August and September. We did uh, all over Europe, ten countries. How do the audiences compare in Europe to, to here? <clears throat> they speak way better English here. <laughs> the English is definitely superior in the United States. Um, they speak much better Swedish there. Uh, now the crowds are good. They're very, uh, very energetic, loyal, open-minded. So it's always fun going over to Europe, especially places that uh, you hit the first time. Just to see them really uh, engaging the band is, is pretty cool. There's some, there's some hot, hot European. Uh, now speaking of shows, when you guys uh, come into a bar or club, wherever you're playing, how, how do you differently prepare or, or play a set when there's 10 people as opposed to 200 people? Do the same thing no matter what. You pretend you're on stage at Madison Square Garden every night, no matter who's there. There's only one thing we know how to do, and that's be the sex slaves. That's what we do no matter what. That's an awesome attitude to have. It is e it's easy when you have a great crowd because you feed off the energy of the crowd and you, you really, it's hard to have a bad show with like, you know, a couple hundred people. But when it's like 10, 15, 20 people, you really have to like create the energy yourself. Like there's no like built in, you know, it's not hot and sweaty in the place. There's not like a buzz in the crowd. It's like you got to go up and like bring it from the first moment. Like you got to create the entire fucking, you know, helps to be like drunk when there's nobody in there. <laughs> <laughs> now, I view, I view the Sex Slaves as a successful band. I, in your mind, e each individual, what, what do you, what what in your mind is success for the sl Sex Slaves? What is well, success? What is success? Are you guys successful? Are you there yet? Is Are, are there more goals? Staying out of jail and playing our music. <laughs> Man, we don't have to work for it. Anywhere but in the sex slaves, that's definitely a good, uh, good sign. Well, you know, we don't go back to day jobs. We're not telemarketing. And we're not playing on tour. That's for not? sure. No. <laughs> <laughs> you're the only one. Yeah, you know, this is news to me. And of course, we have lots of goals. You know, I mean, keep playing to more people, bigger stages. You know, you'd like to see your music reach a much wider audience, as many people as you know possible. Right. Sure, sure. Now I've seen the video for uh, um, Long, Live Long, Live Long Live the Dead. Dead. Sorry. <laughs> now, obviously, a very cool video. Any plans in the works to do anything new? We shot uh, we shot most of the footage for a bloodlust video when we were in Germany last fall in an abandoned castle that we found on tour outside of Berlin. And we've been shooting live stuff at a lot of shows on this tour. And we're going to collect a little bit more footage and then probably in the next two months or so, we'll have some videos. You ever think about putting out a live DVD? We have actually. We've yeah. Been, we've shot a bunch of live stuff and it's definitely. There was a couple shows where we've shot stuff and it's like. It's a balance of like finances and like what we can actually pull off, you know, in like a live show stage. It's like we're gonna do one for sure, but it's gonna be a cool one. Like we're not gonna have that. Um, As a parent, I'm interested in uh, 
in, in this question in particular. Uh, when, when you guys were growing up or when you guys first got into the business and, and you know, started, started the sex slaves, you all have families you came from, obviously. What, was there a support network there? Or did you did you guys deal with the parent that says, ah, oh, you know, that ain't, that ain't working, you know? What kind of, what kind of family background affected your music? Well, it's a little, I think it's a little different for all of us. Um, you know, I was lucky that yeah, I have a, a great support network of family that uh, loves rock and roll and, and supports the sex slaves. So in that regard, um, yeah, it definitely helps. You know, it definitely helps that you know if you need to duck home and crash out in between tours, you know, the doors open at some family member's house, you know, no, no, no one's, no one's uh, chasing us away because we're sex slaves. Very cool. Anyone uh, else? My, my, my folks are totally supportive. Uh, we tour through Florida, we stay with my, my dad, my stepmom, and they come out and shows, and all their friends love us and everything, so... Sweet, sweet. I have, uh, my mom's my mom's become very supportive. She wasn't at first because like, I, I quit school, right? Like, like college, not high school. You know, to, to play music, and that was really hard for her. Right. Like every mom has their dream of what they want their kid to be. You know, this. But she's like, she's really supportive now. That's cool. Now, uh, you, have, what are what are the immediate plans after? The month is up. Any shows pending that you want to tell people about? Uh, just the European tour in April. We're doing Central Europe, which is uh, Sweden, Austria, Germany, France, one show in Italy. And then we're coming back and doing Italy again in June, uh, maybe southern France and Spain also. We're trying to get back up to Sweden, you know, before the year's out, but uh, we might be doing some festival stuff in the summer. Uh, right now we're going to, you know, start putting together material for uh, a new record, hopefully, uh, at the tail end of the year. A Wasted Angel was one great record, Thank and uh, I don't see how you guys are going to top it, but more power to you. You heard the same thing about your tongue. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. All right, guys. Let's see how it ends up. So. Good talking with you. Michael Rich from Global Punk Review signing off with the Sex Slaves.